Hey guys, so a few people have requested me to do an updated tutorial on how to export in Premiere Pro CS6 or any other version of Premiere Pro. So I did do a earlier version, but uh, however this method is actually better because it uses the H.264 codec and the other one used a totally different codec and I actually did not, I don't know why I said that that was the best export because it is not. So here I have Premiere Pro CS6 and I just have a random clip from my Canon C3i right here and I'm just gonna drag it to the timeline and so here it is you can see right there and so the first thing that you want to make sure is that your composition matches your settings so in my case um, this sequence as you can see it is um, 1920 by 1080 and it is 24 frames per second and that does much match this clip because I did record on my Canon C3i uh, but so the first thing that you want to do is you always want to render the entire work area once you've done with the effects and all that because it'll make exporting really um, it'll make it better and faster and you also won't get unnecessary flickering and all that stuff so it's almost done here and then when it's done it's gonna have this green line right here which means that it is rendered 100% and after you have your footage edited and rendered and all that stuff you can go into file and then export and media or you can just hold command M or control M on Windows I believe uh, so here are the export settings uh, um, you're gonna have different stuff for this and here you can select what portion of the clip you want to export just by dragging this and I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller uh, I don't know why I have black there but yeah there we go uh, so first of in you do not want to use match sequence settings because that will, will just um, make the exporting very bad and you will have very low quality so you want to uncheck that if you, if you for some reason have that checked and then you in under format you want to click that and select h.264 that is the best codec and then in preset if you um, if you shot the video in 1080p you want to select uh, HD 1080p and then you want to select the according frame to your video or if you want to um, reduce the the file size you can export in 720p that won't affect the quality whatsoever uh, but I'm just gonna export it in HD 1080p 23.9976 frames per second and that's okay and then you can uh, change the output name and the destination where you want to export a video I'm just gonna uh, call it test there we go and the file format just leave that alone it's gonna encode it in an mp3 format so just click on save and then uh, you don't actually have to worry about filters uh, the only tabs that you have to worry about is video and audio so here you have the basic video settings there's the for uh, the width and the height of your video just leave that alone because you chose uh, the the size that you wanted right here so you shouldn't change that there and here you also have the framework which you did select there um, then you get the field or progressive aspect ratio square pixels 1.0 just check that and then TV standard I do have NTCC or if you're in the UK you can choose PAL um, then in profile uh, just leave that alone or you can bump, bump it up up to 5.1 and select hi there there but these are just the default settings and that will be good and then if you want the best quality you don't care about how many how many time premiere pro renders your file you can render at maximum depth but it will take longer and so here is the uh the mo most important part of the entire rendering process uh the bit rate encoding you want to make sure that it is vpr2 pass um although it does not make much difference with the VPR one pass it still will give you better quality however it will take longer time because it will give a uh, two pass to the video uh, but so this is the most important part of the exporting which is the bit rate so if you have a Canon uh, DSLR such as a T3i or T2i or 60D uh, those cameras do record in a very high bit rate so it, it is about 45 um, shilobits per second and that is very very high uh, so here I just have some clips of my Canon T3 and if I go into the get info uh, as you can see it is 44 kilobits per second which is uh, really high and so 
If you do have a camcorder, you can leave this at about, let's say, 6, because the camcorders normally record about 10,000 or maximum 25, but since this is a DSLR, it does record very high. Um, for web exporting, I like to keep it at about 12. I would say that that's just the best that works for me, or you can also type in what you want there. I like to keep it on 12. And when I am exporting, I think like a test, I do bump this up about to about 20 because I do want the best quality. And um, the higher the bitrate, the better it will look in 360p. And you will not have to bump it up to 720p for the video to look good. Although um, at 12, it doesn't really make a difference, but you can just play around with that. Uh, I'm telling you, if you have a DSLR, I would keep it about. 12 that will give you really high quality at 360p and you won't even notice a difference when you switch over to 720p but if you have a camcorder you can keep this at about 5 and um, this is for 1080p if you are exporting in 720p for DSLR it would be at about 10 and for camcorders you can keep it at about 4 but since it is 10, uh, 1080p, I'm going to keep it up at about 12. And the maximum bit rate is just pretty much the limit of how much you can um, have the bit rate. So I would keep this about, at about 30, maybe if you want to go 30. You can go up to 50, however, that is unnecessary. It will give you a huge file size and it will um, upload, be uploading tons of hours to YouTube. Um, and that's pretty much it for you want to leave this alone and you can check use maximum render quality if you do want uh, if you do not care how much time it will be exporting your video um, just uncheck use frame blending that is unnecessary and then in audio you want to leave the format to AAC uh, audio codec AAC or you can change this to any of these versions it's pretty much the same and the sample rate I would leave it at the highest which is 48 kilohertz and channels 5.1 that is the best and then you can bump the quality up to high since the audio does not take um, much um, space uh, you can make it the best and then the bit rate I would leave it at 192 and um, in advanced settings just leave it at bit rate so pretty much just leave the settings of audio alone because they are good like that way and so then just you can go ahead and save the preset if you don't want to change the settings every time so you can just um, call it something like YouTube HD export and this is just so that you do not have to change the settings each time. Just click OK and you can choose under the preset. Here you have your custom presets and here you have YouTube HD export. And then you just can click on export and it'll encode the sequence. But so yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the best exports for um, Premiere Pro. Again, you can play with the bitrate. If you do not want a high file size, but you want still want high quality, just bump it a bit lower it won't affect the video that much so yeah so yeah please comment down below and what you think about this export and if it is working for you and also watch my tests and comment on that what you think about them and so yeah i'll catch you all in the next video